Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the controls in X Rebirth. And just like our older games, uh, of course, X Rebirth can be controlled with the mouse, uh, in which case I have a mouse cursor and I have a direct steering mode, which I can activate with the space bar. And I have um, icons uh, that I can click on and I can uh, hold down the left mouse button to steer and so on. I'm going to talk about that mode a little bit separately. But what I'm going to talk about first is that the game is also completely controllable with a gamepad. Um, so this mode is definitely, um, well, it's designed for people who used to play other action games. So it should be really easy for you to learn if you've never played any of the X games before. Um, you have the two thumb, uh, thumbsticks, which are by default um, the right one for your steering and the left one for strafing. So your ship can strafe quite significantly. It's pretty strong strafe drive and yeah, you can use by, by using both sticks together, you can steer very freely. This is a pretty powerful way to control your ship. Um, the left analog trigger, this one, is for your speed. So if you hold down this trigger, your ship accelerates to the maximum forward speed. You can see this at the bottom with this instrument here. Now I'm flying with the maximum normal speed. Um, now there's also a boost drive which is limited and which also um, changes my ship's steering behavior but you can activate it by pushing down the left thumbstick so then my ship gets significantly faster as you can see. Ooh, I'm braking again. This is not to be confused with the highway. Coincidentally there is a highway above me here but um, that's a different thing and I'm going to talk about highways in a separate video. Now let's boost a little bit back here break again. So um, there are of course weapons in our game, not very surprisingly, and you can fire normally your primary weapon with the right trigger button, the analog trigger button here. Currently I'm using a shotgun-like weapon which has a little bit of a spread and therefore it's very easy to target with this one. There are other weapons which will not all be available at the beginning of the game, of course, but which you can upgrade later during, during the game, during the plot, and, or buy upgrades on stations. But with this weapon, as you can see, it's very easy to target, especially when you have lots of, lots of enemies. Oops. Okay, so the primary weapon uh, of your ship can be changed with the digipad up and down. So by steering um, by, by clicking up on the digipad, I'm changing now to a different weapon. Now I have a Gatling gun-like weapon, which is very good, which deals a lot of damage to a specific point. So that's a weapon system that can be very powerful if you can aim well or if you have an object that is not moving too quickly. Like this guy. Okay, um, the right and left directions on the digipad change your secondary weapon. So this is typically a missile. So I can change here to different types of missiles and launch those missiles with the right trigger button, digital trigger button on the shoulder of the controller. So for example, I just fire this on my soft target, which is usually the object that has the brighter rectangle in my target cross, then it automatically targets to this object. There's something to pick up here, so I will do that. Okay, <clears throat> so there's, uh, there is the Y button which opens your main menu. Main menu is a hierarchical menu which allows several layers underneath. You press the Y button to open the menu. You can hold it down and then use the left stick to make selections. Any selection can go to, sub to further sub-menus. For example, <coughs> universe leads to navigation for different types of maps. Um, trading gives you access to the different trading menus. So this is basically the 
most important menu for higher level things you want to do. For example, also when you want to find out uh, which which objects you already own in the in the game and so on. The most important button on the controller is the A button. Um, it is it stands for interact and it always opens a context interact menu for whatever object you have currently selected as your soft target. So in this case the ship over there. As soon as you press a button the menu remains open and you can use the left stick again to select the interaction you want to do with this ship. For example here I could open a, a communication or I can uh, request information about the ship. The same functionality works also on a station. For example this icon over there stands for a landing platform. As soon as I am in interaction range it changes color. Now it changes color, now I can interact with it. I press a button, I select dock and my ship will dock on that station automatically. My co-pilot Yisha takes over the controls and I can walk out of my ship. As soon as you have landed on a platform, you will be in a slightly different controller mode. Um, but this will be very easy to learn because it is something that you have probably seen in many other games. Um, you look around with the right stick and you walk around with the left stick. So this is something you probably know from many other games. Very easy to learn. The Y button still opens the main menu, so a lot of the more powerful functionality is available on the platform as well. While you do this, your co-pilot, which normally sits next to you, will now be talking to you through your little virtual reality glasses. With the trigger button on the shoulder, on the right side, you can jump also probably standard and known from any other games. The interact button allows you to interact with interactable objects on a platform, for example these little panels here. As soon as you are close enough to interact with them, you recognize this by the change in your target cross and also by the highlight on the screen and the A button interacts with it. In this case this opens the corridor here. Many Many doors do not even need that and open automatically when you come close enough. Some other doors require you to interact with these kind of panels. Sometimes you will have to play little mini games to hack them. So there are different ways of interacting. And of course the most important way of interaction on a station is to talk to people. For example this guy over there, he has an interact symbol. You see his uh, stats up there and you press the A button to interact. And again you get a menu very similar to the main menu which is now a conversation. So the handling is exactly the same. So as you see everything in the game works and plays very easy with the controller mode. I'm going to talk about the mouse controls in a separate video.